guys! So this is my, you can say first ever actual video with a real camera, lol. So I got this camera for Christmas and what made me decide to do makeup tutorials is everybody in general wants me to teach them makeup. No. I decided to make my own YouTube channel so I can teach you guys makeup and if you don't like me, leave because I ain't got no time for haters and if you do like me, then keep on watching. And if you are interested in knowing how I did this beautiful makeup right here, keep watching. First off, hair back, definitely. Second off, you guys just got zoomed into this face, so yay. The first thing I will be doing is priming my face. I use professional. I don't know if I should talk during this thing or I should just like skip through. I don't know. I just dot it all over my face. Second off, I will be using my Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. As you guys can see, this has been used a lot. My shade is beige. It comes with a dropper. I don't like using the drop, so I just like inch to quite something like this. I will be using Morphe M406 as my brush. This is a duo fiber brush. Now what I usually do is I take my beauty blender. Please damp your beauty blender. It makes everything look much, much better and just bounce. Now I color correct. I have some pretty dark under eyes. I will be using the Becca Cosmetics in Peach. So a couple of my brushes are the Morphe Gunmetal Edition and they don't come with like specific names or anything but this is from the Gunmetal Edition. That's what it kind of looks like. And I barely take like any product and I just like Next, I will be using, again, Becca Cosmetics Ultimate Coverage Concealer in Brulee. And with my Morphe M428, I'll be picking up barely anything because this is very, very high coverage and just applying it under my eyes and in the inner corners because I also have, like, bad inner corners. I also use this concealer as a base for my eyeshadow. So whenever I'm like in my inner corner area, I just like push it and just try and cover my eyelid. So next what I do is I take this beauty blender and on this pointy side, I just try and bounce a bit just to make everything just sit there. Now, I am not going to set my face yet. Now, what I am going to do is eyebrows. I'm going to do my best to do this on camera, but this is quite hard to do. I will be using Cabrow by Benefit. Now, with the help of a spoolie. Okay, you just push down your eyebrow hairs. And let's do this. Now what I do is I take Ready Set Brow by Benefit and I just set them. So far that's what we got. And now I will be taking High Brow also by Benefit. I will just be applying this right under my eyebrow just a bit. And with this same concealer brush that we have already used I will just blend this. So this is the finished brow. Now I will be doing the second brow off camera. All right, so my eyebrows are now done. What I will be using is the Morphe 35OS. I like shimmer, what can I say? And out of this palette, I so this color I will be using right over here on my crease. 
just as a transition color. Now I will be taking Morphe Untamed. I will be taking this color on one of my gunmetal brushes. Take some of it and I will be using this on the outer corner of my eyes. And gently just be very gentle because you don't, I'm trying to go for a soft look. This is what we got so far. Now what I will be taking is also one of Morphe's pressed pigments. This one is called Rodeo Drive. This is like used and abused by me. I use this color practically on a daily basis. Sorry, I just really like that color, what can I do? And I will just be putting this on the inner corners of my eyes and the inner corner of my lid, I guess. I just go with Rodeo Drive a bit on top of Untamed. Okay guys, so this is what we have for the eyes so far. I will not be putting any eyeliner on because I just, I like it as is. I feel like this is very subtle, very nice. Next, this is the holy grail of makeup. If I'm not wearing anything, I am probably wearing this product, Shape Tape by Tarte. This is by far the best concealer I have ever used in my entire life. It is, it is very hard to get it. I remember I was on the waiting list. I wanted this desperately. I am in the shade light medium honey. I laugh at myself sometimes. This was probably cut by the way. A lot of people say that it is a very big brush. Won't lie, it is, but it's just amazing. I love it. I don't know how people do their makeup without shape tape. I will just be putting this under my eyes, right over here, and I will be dragging it onto the top of my cheekbone with a damn beauty blender. Now, you will be blending the shit out of this concealer. It is so buttery and so easy to blend, and I just love this thing. Like, it makes everything look perfect instantly. Like, oh. Okay guys, so this is what we have so far. Do you see how much better my under eyes look right now? Because I just used Shape Tape. Up next, I will be taking Hello Flawless by Benefit. I am in the shade beige. This, <laughs> wow, like I have hit pan. Like almost all of my Benefit products, I have hit pan in those. Because I just, I love their cosmetics brand. Like, if I had to choose a cosmetic brand to live on, I would have to choose Benefit and Tarte. Those two are like my go-tos. So with one of my Morphe Gunmetal Edition brushes, I will be taking some of that powder and just pressing it all over my face. And don't forget that neck, guys. Next, I will be using this bad boy right here. This is the Airspun Loose Face Powder. I will be taking this on my M438. Always take the powder and just, and just apply it under my eyes. I will not be baking today. So now my under eyes have been set. I know I probably kind of look like a vampire right now. Next up, I will be contouring my face with Hoola by Benefit. And, well, I've hit pan. With one of my Morphe gunmetal brushes. And what I will be doing here is just... your forehead and that is it for contouring now what I will be doing is taking my Urban Decay Illuminated this is in the shade Aura it is this beautiful pinky color I'll be taking my Morphe R36 and just 
lightly highlight. Next up, I will be using the Blush Neutrals 26 Eyeshadow and Brush Palette by BH Cosmetics. This is what the palette looks like. So this is what the palette looks like, and the color I will be using is this one right here on my Morphe Gunmetal. It's like an angled, fluffy brush. So this is what we have so far. Now again, with the highlighter, I have no idea why I do this. I just put a bit of highlighter, then blush, highlighter again. Next, I will be taking my Too Faced Candlelight. And this is what it looks like. This is the travel size. I got it either in my FabFitFun or my Ipsy Glam Bag. But same Morphe brush. I will be taking this color and just putting it right over here for an extra little glow. Because who doesn't want to glow? Next step, I will be taking the Tarte Opening Act as my mascara primer. Now I did say I am going for a more subtle look, so I will be using Tartiest Mascara by Tarte. Now, before I start with my lower eyelashes, what I will be doing is taking the Morphe Untamed again and just applying it right under my eye. And then I will be applying mascara on my lower lashes. Next step would be lips. I am not sure what color I want to go with today. Since we said we are going for a subtle look and my everyday look, I usually do not go for a bold lip. I like going for something very subtle, very easy. So what I will be taking is my MAC Lip Pencil in Spice. Okay, camera, I think, turned off because I was out of battery, but I did wait for you guys. I have already lined my lips, and since we are going for a more subtle look today, I decided to go with Too Faced Melted Chocolate Liquid Long Wear Lipstick. Wow, that was long. There you go. And this is in the shade Chocolate Honey. So, let's get up close and personal. So this, guys, is the final look. Now what I will be doing is taking my Mario Badescu spray and just... Ah, it's so refreshing. So what I will be doing is taking my Urban Decay D-Slick Makeup Setting Spray and spraying this all over my face. This is the makeup look, you guys. This is the final look, you guys. I hope you liked it. Look at that glow. Oh my god. Thank you for watching, and if you liked this video, like and subscribe. And hopefully I'll be doing more videos and you can learn more. <laughs> Bye, guys.